Hello and welcome, I'm Rory Lewis Photographer and it's been a while since I've done one of these videos but lately I've had the opportunity to create a new piece of work and I'm very excited to share it with you. As you may be aware, in the next few weeks uh, the new Napoleon movie will be released. Uh, it is a, directed by Ridley Scott and starring Joaquin Phoenix and I'm really looking forward to seeing how Ridley Scott and Joaquin bring Napoleon to life. In celebration of this fact, I created my own uh, piece of work in which I've captured four wonderful actors in different stages of Napoleon's life. Now, Napoleon once said, a picture is worth a thousand words, and also power is in the appearance of power. And in doing so, throughout his career as a military leader, politician, he created many depictions of himself. In the first depiction, we see young actor Mark posing as the young Napoleon at military school. In the second depiction, we see actor Sam as the younger Napoleon, the Napoleon before the Battle of Toulouse, figuring out his career, how he's going to move himself forward in his military and political ambitions. The great thing about the second depiction, we see here Sam in this style of contemplation. He's thinking about how to move forward. We see all the accoutrements on the desk, including a bust of Napoleon that it sits next to me. I want to add this as a prop in the sitting to show Napoleon at different stages. The bust reflects the Napoleon looking forwards towards Sam. In this third depiction, we see actor Andy and again, this is Napoleon after Austerlitz. Napoleon at the height of his power. The bust, the papers, even the captured flag on the table reflects the height of Napoleon's mood and greatness at this point in the depictions of art. In the fourth depiction, we see Peter as the old Napoleon, the aged fallen Napoleon. The bust is down, it's laying on the table. Everything is old and decrepit and Napoleon looks back at his career in defeat and almost thinking about the victories of old. So in this series, I wanted to reflect a more contemporary feel. I didn't want to dress like Napoleon. I was thinking almost, I'm, I was inspired by Richard III, Ian McKellen's uh, depiction of Richard III, which kind of echoed the 1930s, uh, the way and the feel and the set design, the way it was created. So in creating this series, I wanted to think about that 1930s feel to my images. As many of you may know, I'm a student of Caravaggio. Caravaggio used contemporary clothing, a contemporary feel to his portraiture. You saw his subjects wear Renaissance clothing rather than wearing you know, uh, religious clothing from the Bible period and things like that. Now, in terms of equipment, I shot this with the Profoto A2s and the Click softboxes. Profoto is my equipment of choice. If many of you do leave comments asking me which lighting equipment that I prefer, and Profoto is my go-to equipment. I always say to people, buy cheap, buy twice, buy the best, which is Profoto, and you'll only buy once. At the moment, I have a Profoto kit, which I have, which is 20 years old, and I'm still using that kit to this day. And also now I have the brand new A2s, so I do recommend them to clients. My camera, of course, is the Hasselblad X1D2, and I shot these images with a variation of lenses from the 45 millimeter to the 60 millimeter and also the 90 millimeter X1D lenses to create the images. Also, the backdrop is one of my favorites, or probably the favorite that I use the most, which is the Manfrotto Tobacco and Olive backdrop. I also utilize the Lastalite Halo Compact, which is my go-to reflector, easily collapsible into a small bag and you can carry it anywhere with you. So check out my equipment list below. Also, if you want to see more content like this, then please support my channel. You can buy me a coffee and the link is below. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you to my wife and my boss, Sasha, for filming this today. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. Also, check out my workshops. I'm going to be offering a lot more workshops and also one-to-ones in Los Angeles, New York and London. Thanks again. And the biggest thank you goes to our fabulous models and actors and an amazing makeup artist. Yes, Karma, I can't thank you enough. You're an amazing makeup artist and uh, you made the 
the chaps look absolutely fantastic i'd also like to thank again mark sam andy and peter for modeling and i'll pop links to their profiles below in case you want to get in touch with them for your own collaborations or work thank you again